bet in play throughout the Betfred World Snooker Championship. Betfred, proud sponsors of the World Snooker Championship. Well, John Higgins through to yet another Crucible quarter-final. And John, you against Ricky Walton, that was a match-up good enough to be a quarter or a semi or even a final. Just shows you how much the standards are improving that the two of you have had to meet in the second round. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you could look at the, the second round there and obviously Ronnie's playing Barry, which is a, 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 an ex-final here. And you've got Judd playing Ding. It's just the, just the strength and depth I've got now at the top of the game, yeah. What does it mean to you to get back into the last eight for the first time in a few years, I think since you won it in 2011? Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted, obviously, uh, to be back here, quarter-finals, ready to play Alan McManus, one of my best mates on the tour. Uh, I, I couldn't be feeling any better just now. Brilliant. It's quite weird for him because he's beaten Stephen Maguire in the first round, he's come through a massive second-round match against Daddy, but... In two of his three mat two of his three matches here this year, he's played good mates. Yeah, yeah. Listen, that's that's just what happens nowadays on the tour. Now people go on with each other and they sometimes draw each other. Uh, but yeah, it's a big good occasion, obviously for Scotland. The, the good thing is we're going to have one one player in the semi final, which is great, and uh, and it'll be a great two days playing against them. Last year was fantastic. Three ranking titles. Bearing in mind it has been a while since you've been in the last eight. Was there a time, maybe two years ago or three years ago, that you thought, hang on a minute, me getting to the business end of the Crucible is, it could be a thing of the past. Was there a time where you were worried that you'd never get back to this level of at the World Championship? Yeah, absolutely. I, I sat through there maybe two or three years ago and thought that was it. I'm a journeyman player now. Be lucky to maybe win a match here or there at the Crucible, but having to go quarter-finals, semi-finals, maybe final now, I thought now that would be a step too far, but now I'm back and I'm playing a bit better and uh, I'm giving myself a chance to maybe do that. And what would it mean to you? I mean, you've been there so many times before, but what would it mean to you to get back to the one-table set-up here? Because you, amongst with a whole host of other world-class players, you know what that atmosphere is like at the Crucible when there's only two of you around one big table and one big arena. Yeah, nothing better. Nothing better. It's, uh, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get through at the semi-final or final of the World Championships, it's uh, the best place in the world. So I'll be trying my utmost in the next two days, as I'm sure Alan will be, and uh, in the two days we'll be trying to get through as best as we can. And then at the end, it, shake each other's hand and whoever wins, wish them well. Hope they go on and win it and, uh, and get back up to Scotland. <laughs> well done, John. We're delighted to see you into the last date.